What is your favorite drink to have when it's as cold outside as it is in your freezer? Me, it's a Sazerac, and today I'm gonna show you how I make mine. What's up guys, I'm Flix for Truffles on the Rocks. Welcome back to this channel. Thank you very much for joining me today for this new cocktail video. You probably noticed already, I sound a little weird. That's because winter has arrived in Quebec and with the first snow always comes the first cold for me. So I apologize in advance if I sound a little weird. But that being said, we're making a Sazerac today, one of my favorite comforting cocktail. And I bet that if you are watching this video, you may not be that familiar with the cocktail. Maybe you heard about it or had it once or twice, but now you want to make it by yourself. So today I'm going to show you my favorite way to make a Sazerac. Let's do it. Alright, so how you make a Sazerac is very simple. You have to think of an old fashioned with a little twist. It was originally made with cognac, but then with the phylloxera that killed almost all the vines in France in the 1800s, cognac was really hard to get. So it was then replaced by rye whiskey, which is what we're going to use today. Uh, but if you dig the cocktail, I highly recommend you try it with cognac. You can even try it with boat spirits half and half. You're going to see it is also very good. But we're going to stick with rye today because that's my favorite way. And you're going to go with two ounces of rye. As I say, you have to think of an old fashioned, so two ounces of spirit, rye for this one. And you're gonna go with quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. A lot of people use a uh, sugar cube. I personally prefer the simple syrup because it is just simply easier to balance your cocktail that way. Then instead of using Angostura as in the old fashioned, you're gonna go with patial bitters, two dashes. And the cocktail calls for a glass rinsed with absinthe, which we're gonna do, but I also like to add a few dashes in my cocktail. Then we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice. And we're gonna give it a good stir. All right, then for the absent rinse, I recommend that you use a little atomizer. That way you're gonna make a very nice coat of absinthe all around your glass. So you're gonna release some very nice aroma. So you're gonna go with a few spoosh of absinthe. Spoosh, is that a word? I don't know. Spritz. And then you're gonna strain it in your glass. And for the garnish, the recipe calls for a lemon peel that you're gonna express and discard. This and discard. So that's it guys, I really hope you're gonna try it. I hope you're gonna like it. Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That would be greatly appreciated. Hit the bell button if you wanna make sure not to miss the next video because there's one every Friday. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. Drink responsibly, some Sasserac all went too long. Cheers.